In this session, we're going to cover the IT for IT version 2.1 mapping to CSDM version 3.0. A little bit about the IT for IT standard. This is an open group standard that, that is a reference architecture for how IT value streams and functional components, uh, which are, uh, are the functions in IT and how they work together. There's a data model there, there's a flow model. You can find out more at the open group slash IT for IT as the URL. The main differences and similarities between CSDM and IT for IT is that the CSDM framework was largely here to facilitate a common model across our different products and services. And we focus on the digital products and services that you provide customers. Obviously, we, we want to be able to map those in a common way across our products. IT for IT, however, it focuses on standardizing the vendor landscape for tooling and, our, and understanding what those tools need to do and how they need to integrate. So this was uh, done uh, as a collective from a number of different organizations that came together and helped to find what that might look like. The CSDM use on the platform specific products and integrations that we sell leverage CSDM. So as new products come aboard or we change products, we reflect that change in CSDM. IT for IT is used by large IT organizations to understand what they have, what the gaps in tooling and integrations that they have, and to rationalize those tools uh, from various vendors as they start integrating them or they identify where there's redundancies. There's other uses in IT for IT also for like setting up a operating model for IT and also to understand what functional areas do you outsource or insource, for example. The origins of CSDM were back in 2018 is a collaboration between ServiceNow product teams and uh, getting together on the same standard way of modeling services and the CMDB. So that's that was the background and it's become a very common framework for customers to use to help implement our ServiceNow platform as well. Uh, IT for IT origins were really created by Hewlett Packard, now part of Microfocus, the software division, and uh, going back in the 2013 timeframe. It was there as a guided setup for how products are supposed to work. One of the challenges that HP had is they acquired many different products over time. And as they, uh, customers started to use them together, they identified there was no framework for that. And so, um, across the different HP customers, they got together and they, they formed IT for IT. And uh, eventually they decided to donate that IP to the open group as a new standard. IT for IT version 2.1 has something called the value chain, which is made up of four value streams. So you'll see plan, build, deliver, and run. And those are the specific things that you do. And those are underpinned by supporting activities on the bottom things that go across multiple value streams. In the middle, you have something called the service model backbone, which is what is the service from a planning point of view all the way through run, detect to correct. So the, the focus on that whole life cycle approach. And when you look at the mapping to CSDM, the, the activities over in the planning stage align pretty well with what happens in the design stage, which is mostly a conceptual level planning. These are the things we want to do. These are the business capabilities, not the exact processes or organization structure. When you look at the delivery um, request to fulfill value stream, the entities in there largely align to the technical services domain, but they also align to the business services domain. One distinction in IT for IT is that we don't make a distinction between technical versus business services. We, they are all services, and there's a common way of looking at engaging your customer through requesting and fulfilling those service engagements. So the, those are key to both sides of the CSDM model. On the run side, that largely impacts the area of the infrastructure. So these are what we call as-is services uh, for detect to correct. And that kind of maps to the application services and the underlying infrastructure and software and all those interconnections uh, typically seen from a managing technical services domain and CSDM. Uh, this is just a higher level granularity of the CS of the IT for IT framework. And what you're seeing here are the four different value streams along the top and underneath in the, in the blue tiles, those are the functional components. And then you have the data model in black and uh, 
the components that are there are there. So you can see within each component, there's a, an object or two that are managed uh, that are the system records, if you will. And along the bottom are in the purple dots, these purple dots represent that service model backbone, the conceptual service uh, from planning point of view, all the way through actual service that is being managed from a detect to correct and operational point of view. Now, how this maps a little bit more detail, I'll, I'll kind of take you through that. Uh, largely the same sort of mapping, but we're getting to some specifics in terms of the service model backbone. And I would say for the most part, the CSDM model maps to what you would find in that service model backbone. So when you model the conceptual service, what is it from a conceptual point of view, right? So at a high level, when we're doing our planning, uh, that also maps to what the service portfolio might look like at a high level. So conceptually, uh, we see a lot of synergy between service portfolio and business capability, for example. Uh, this, this is kind of how we would manage that as a whole. We also see from a logical point of view, the business service and the technical service being defined here. So conceptual is higher level, logical gets down into a little bit more specificity. When we look at the desired service, this is what the offering basically maps to. So this is what you put in your catalog eventually, service catalog entry. And this is what you describe as something you will eventually deploy when somebody orders it. So there's a, on the IT for IT side, you have this service catalog entry, uh, which we don't have. Um, we do have actually in, in CSDM as well for the request catalog. And then of course the underlying service offerings. The actual services are, are actually part of that operational point of view within CM, CSDM and down in the managed technical services area. So that, that classic CIs or the physical CIs mapped to actual service. The one thing that's interesting also about desired service, it does cover everything in that whole offer management request subscription area. So that lines pretty well with what we do in SPM, service portfolio management, service owner workspace, uh, understanding those offerings, understanding the, the uh, catalog entry and how people order their services uh, through a self-service request to fill, fulfill value stream. Uh, this has been the IT for IT version 2.1 mapping to CSDM. Thank you very much for your time.